Hello, this is Very Enchanted, and welcome back to Toy Story 3, as we'll tackle what, in my opinion, is the worst game in the level. The worst level in the game. This level is short, but it's also just a little bit uninteresting. I just don't like this level at all. Uh, it's got too many uh, hoops to jump through and a few... Hey there. One aspect I do like is that, though. Uh, while this is the point in the movie where Buzz Lightyear was reprogrammed, you actually can still switch to him. It's just he can't do anything with him because he's currently uh, enslaved to his programming. Which I thought was an interesting, uh, not quite a design choice, because obviously it just didn't change things. Who is it? Never mind, but it was an interesting detail. Cowboy. Just listen up. Lotso and his gang have reprogrammed Buzz and incarcerated Rex, Slinky, Ham, and Jesse in high security cells. So if you want to spring them, watch out for spotlights and patrolling trucks. Oh yeah, and if you spot it, an alarm will sound. Good luck. And now our phone buddy will release us from jail, and we'll see what we can do to rescue everyone else. While getting caught countless times because I do not care. <laughs> there is an achievement for this level similar to the Buzz Lightyear level, which is get through the entire level rescuing everyone without being spotted once, which is garbage. I did it once on my other account for my main account for the uh, Chibo, and then I'm just not going to bother with it again. <laughs> it's just not a fun level to play or replay. We've just released Jesse, which is nice, by turning off the big red spotlight. Over here we have a new type of uh, collectible person. The uh, townspeople can be replaced by aliens for the rest of the levels. There are five townspeople and three aliens for the eight levels in this game. So this is the Jesse here for a particular reason. That's just me making sure Buzz isn't anywhere near us, because uh, that could be quite dangerous if he is. Because he's actually coming quite close to us now, so we're going to wait for him to come by, because his flashlight is inordinately powerful. He will see you from miles away. If the flashlight someone just glances at you, you're caught pretty much. And it can be hard to tell where he is in relation to the rest of the level, because he uh, has a very long path through the entire place, and often pauses to look around with his flashlight. It's a fairly strict pattern. Uh, and one that's easy to predict, but if he was coming out somewhere you don't know, you haven't seen him for a while, you're not really certain uh, what part of his pattern he's currently in. So there are three of these little uh, cell kind of areas, these little prison tower kind of areas, which we need to get into to rescue our three fans. Jesse, of course, is the only one that can get up this one, so we'll go for this one first, because it's closest. Be very careful about that spotlight, it's very tricky. Huh? So there's the light turned off for Rex, but before we go and actually release him from his little Y basket, we still have something to do up here, which is along these rooftop areas. Rooftop where I've put these fluorescent lights. We have a memorabilia piece, and a little further on, we have a special card. So let's grab that as well, shall we? Here I got a bit greedy. You actually cannot reach that from here, but I just kind of I didn't quite forget, but I disregarded it. I decided to give it a go anyway. But unfortunately, you just don't quite have enough Howdy. horizontal motion to get there. Let's just get her out of the way first of all, because I don't want to accidentally get caught while I'm in the middle of doing something as Woody. That would be an annoying way to interrupt things. Who goes there? Wait, Oops. That's a friend. As you can see, the flashlight is really powerful and very hard to avoid if it's uh, coming towards you. Yeah, 
Okay, we got a little bit of... Uh, once we've rescued Rex, there'll be a moment where we get a little bit lost. But I cut most of that out, it's just embarrassing. This is a small level, it's very compact at least, so at least it's not particularly long to get through. It's just not particularly interesting either. There have been much better sneaking missions. These are very easy to get caught by, but also very easy to sneak past, so it's kind of a uh, wash. This level also feels way less polished than the other levels because it doesn't usually have an opening cutscene or an ending cutscene, it just kind of starts and stops. But yeah, here I thought something was here, but it's not. It's actually on the other side of the wall uh, in a different paddock, which is why we can't jump straight to it from there, because it wants us to go through these little paddocks from the front entrance with the lights and everything. I was kind of remembering, of course, it's in there. <laughs> but this is a particularly weird one because there are like things where Jessie can interact with them in some of these paddocks, but she can't actually get to them because they're woody on the areas. It's very strange. But over here we have a card we were missing. Another here too. Making sure there's no cards missed on the ground level before we actually switch to Woody and start rescuing the other two. But as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on in this level. It's very easy to get a little bit caught out. Oh. Yeah, those police cars really can't see you at all. Come on, let's play! So let's actually get underway with the remaining prisoners, shall we? That was an embarrassing display. <laughs> Darker man, hello. I I'm not hearing you. Are you hearing me? Call back on the emergency channel. Over. Not one for paranormal paranoia. That was the card I was looking for, by the way, is Jesse. And I don't know why I grabbed that. I don't need a tutorial for this, I've been doing this for six levels now. Got it. Well, four, you know what I mean. Just doing my job. Up here coming up is a particularly interesting little sort of puzzle. And that's really easy to accidentally like mess up with those because of how long it takes him to throw his lasso. I'll say lasso, I mean whipcord. I quite like this little puzzle up here, it's a uh, pretty cute little thing. With all these flashlights and everything. You essentially just need to work out the sequence and move to the right flashlights at the right time so you can just slip past all of the rest of them. It's a fairly easy little puzzle, but if you don't quite, if you don't know what you're doing or what the pattern is, it can be a little tricky at first. God. Yeah, I screwed that up, so I could have me cutting back up and climbing back up again. Meet at the castle, but watch out for Buzz. You got it, partner. Hmm. But it's right there with his flashlight. He just barely doesn't see us. We just got really lucky there. So let's follow him to the final paddock, shall we? I say paddock because it doesn't really feel like cells are a bit too open air. <laughs> Thank you. 
Man, they're all indoors, but you know what I mean. It's laid out like an open air area. This corner is pretty much a pointless corner. There's like nothing here. It's just somewhere for Buzz to go. But there's our final card, so let's grab that. Woody, get us out of here! Careful! I don't want to sound the alarm. <laughs> Luckily, it doesn't actually put us right back at the start with this particular section. It just takes us back here, which is nice enough. Because having to come all the way back here would be terribly annoying. But here is also how we get up to this final card over here as well. Get the iconic ball. And there we go, we just need to actually go and pull the cage off Ham now. Ham, I'm busting you out. We'll rendezvous at the castle and then get out of here. You got it, Woody! And there we go, we've completed this level and we'll never have to come back here again because, ugh. This level's just we not particularly good. Side, but ended up in a garbage truck that hauled us to the city dump. We got dropped down a conveyor belt, headed for a giant shredder. That was fixing to fertilize the landfill with our slurry and remains. I get nauseous just thinking about it. You've got a friend in the next level's much better, so I'll see you then. You Goodbye. Go